Beloved, it is by the great mercies of God. It is only by the mercies of God. The word of God in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by His great mercy that we have been born again. Because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, now we live with great expectation. The scripture says, now we live with great expectations. Today your hopes are alive. Today you have expectations for great things to happen to you because of the message of God. I mean, if it was the judgment of God that came first, the story would have been different. There are some things you know that you are done wrong, but the message of God spoke. The message of God stood for you, and now the story is different. You cannot explain, you do not understand how some things did not happen to you. I mean, you know that you were not the best of the best. But somehow, the message of God came through for you. Some people only wronged once, and that met their end. They only did something bad just for the first time. And the story went sour for them. But you have done the same things over and over. But the message of God somehow stood out for you. You see, the word of God had made us to realize and to understand something in Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. God said, Go and learn what this means. I want mercy and not sacrifice. You see, Jesus was speaking and he says, Go and learn what this means. It is mercy I want and not sacrifice. If God would have to go through judgment and through wrath, Many stories would have been different for us. But because he desires mercy, because he wants mercy, things have been a whole lot different for you. So if there is anything God desires so much, it is to see that we receive consciously from him the full harm of his mercy. It is to see that his full harm of mercy is stretched at you. And Jude advised in Jude chapter 1 verse 21, he says, Looking for the mercy of Jesus Christ unto life and turn out. You see, many times God will look away from some things we have done, not because he is not hurt, not because he is not saddened by them, not because he is not feeling grieved, but because his mercy is speaking out. Because his message is speaking forth. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22 says, It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. It is because of the message of God that you are preserved. It is because of the message of God that you are not consumed. You know you have done things that were not excellent, but the message of God stood out for you. The message of God ran ahead and met you first. I mean, the prodigal son had mercy running to him. Because if the father had come with judgment and wrath, like the brother had in mind, he would not have had a place in the father's home anymore. But because mercy spoke for him, he found himself again. And it's by that great message of God that God wants to find you today. He knows that the things that you have done have been so wrong, but He chose to have mercy upon you. He says in Romans chapter 9 verse 15, He says, I will have mercy upon whom I have mercy upon. I will have compassion upon whom I will have compassion upon. How great that message is. For God to look at us with everything we have done and choose to still have mercy upon us. You see, at a point in time, the body of Moses was disputed 
because of his anger issues, because of the things he had done wrong. But because God had spoken through him and God had spoken to him, when he said, I will have mercy, I have made a choice to have mercy upon whom I would have mercy upon. So even when the devil was coming to lay claim, even when the devil wants judgment to prevail, rather mercy prevailed over judgment. And Moses found mercies in the sight of God. And Moses found grace in the sight of God. He says, The lost mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. This mercy that God has towards us, it is because God renews them every moment in time. And that is why there are some things we do over and over again that He chooses to overlook. He chooses to take His eyes away from them. He says, the days of your ignorance I have chosen to forget. I have chosen to forgive. And that is because He is full of mercies. That is because he is full of compassion. And that is because he doesn't want his wrath to come against you. So he always gives that time and that gap for his message to speak. For his message to come through for you. You see, Matthew chapter 9 verse 13 says, Go and learn what this means. I want mercy and not sacrifice. God is not looking for sacrifice. God is looking for mercy. He's searching for those he would have mercy upon. He's not looking for those he will condemn. He's looking for those he will look away from the wrongs they have done and give them life. And God wants to give you life. Because one of his greatest desire is to see that you receive mercy. Is to see that his full arm of mercy is stretched at you. Is to see that his scepter of mercy is stretched at you, is reaching to you. So that what was supposed to consume you will not consume you. So that what was supposed to destroy you will not destroy you. And Jude will say in Jude chapter 1, verse 21, when he was admonishing that we should go on looking. For the mercy of Jesus Christ unto life eternal. And then he told us how we should go on looking for that mercy in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. He says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Beloved, are you in need? Why don't you go to God and say, Father, show me your mercy? Have you wronged him in so many ways? Why don't you go to him and say, Lord, show me your mercy. I mean, that thing you have done deserves you to receive judgment that may not go in your favor. Why don't you say, Lord, I'm sorry. I need your mercy. Because it is by his great mercy that you have things going for you. It is by his great mercy that you have things coming through for you. The way is coming. That is why even when you did so many wrongs, you are still preserved. You don't know how. But because he has said he would choose to have mercy upon whom he would have mercy upon. Because he has said he would choose to have compassion upon whom he will have compassion upon. And somehow he found you. Some people wronged only once. And that met their end. But you have done the same thing over and over again. And the message of God is still speaking for you. There are some people who are more righteous than you are. But have not received the things that you have received. Why? Because somehow you may not be able to explain it. But his message came through for you. And even when you were not righteous enough. You still receive the benevolence of God. Even when you do not deserve it. But because of his great mercy. He has chosen to see that you are preserved. He has chosen to see that your family is preserved. He has chosen to see that everything goes on fine for you. 
because that mercy of his is new every morning because that mercy of his is made brand new every morning and god wants you to know today that you can still receive all those your great expectations you can still live in your great expectations because of his mercies that thing you desire for your family you can still receive it because of his mercy that thing you want for your life even when you do not deserve it because of his great mercies only you can still receive it oh how i wish you would just give praises to god and say thank you for your mercy thank you for your mercies that came through for me thank you for not allowing your wrath come before your mercy thank you for not allowing your judgment come before your mercy beloved it is by his mercies you are not consumed it is only by his great mercy that your life has been going the way it is going why don't you just keep appreciating him and say help me help me not to fall out of your grace help me not to fall out of your mercy i come to you with all of my heart i come before your throne of grace where i can always find mercy to help in the time of need beloved is my prayer that god will show you mercy even when you do not deserve it you will receive mercy in abundance and you will live in your great expectations in the mighty name of jesus always remember it is only by his mercies you are not consumed It is only by his great mercies you are preserved. It is by his mercy you found Jesus. It is by his mercies you got born again. It's not because you were the best of all best. It's not because you were the most intelligent that you were preserved. It is because of his mercy. It's not because you knew your way around things. It is because of his mercy. It's not because you were smart. That was why that thing you indulged in did not destroy you it was because of his mercy because of his great mercy only and it's my prayer that mercies we speak for you always and for your family in the mighty name of jesus it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom